In January 2021, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced one of the most massive architectural projects in human history. A project intended to change the future of Saudi Arabia and the entire world. He announced that the kingdom would build a city in the form of a line, stretching 170 kilometers, a legendary city designed to transform human life. It would be free of cars and emissions, relying entirely on artificial intelligence. However, according to experts, turning the Crown Prince's dream into reality is a nearly impossible mission. Recently, rumours have circulated that the project has been completely cancelled, simply because it defies the laws of nature. They say can be done. They can keep saying that, and we can keep following them wrong. But will the city actually be built? Or will the project remain nothing more than science fiction? The line is designed to be a giant structure in the middle of the Saudi desert. It will stretch 170 kilometers long with a width of only 200 meters. Its height will reach 500 meters, making it taller than the Eiffel Tower and the Empire State Building. Relying entirely on renewable energy, the city is intended to house 9 million people within a total area of just 34 square kilometers. This would bring the population density inside the line to 260,000 people per square kilometer. The city will be free of cars, roads, and carbon emissions. Inside, it will be a three-dimensional urban space where movement is seamless. Residents will be able to move in all directions on foot or via elevators, allowing anyone to reach their daily needs in less than five minutes. Transportation across the city will be handled by a high-speed train capable of traveling the entire 170-kilometer length in just 20 minutes. The city's facade will consist of giant mirrors covering the entire structure, making it blend into the surrounding environment as if it were part of nature. The city will also feature air taxis for transport between destinations and advanced surveillance systems operating around the clock. These systems will be capable of monitoring residents' health and preventing diseases, all controlled by artificial intelligence. Literally, this city would be the largest architectural project on Earth representing a total shift in how the world views the cities of the future. But in reality, the project is quickly turning into the biggest engineering mistake in history. Saudi Arabia has already begun work, gathering thousands of workers, excavators, and trucks in the heart of the desert. Excavation work started along long stretches of the line. At that point, it seemed to the world that everything was moving according to plan and schedule. However, after implementation began and approximately $50 billion was spent, work slowed down significantly. The fate of this legendary city became unknown as we entered the year 2026, a year that will likely clarify whether whether the project will be realized or remain a dream. As construction progressed, the vision of the line collided with reality. Experts working on the project began to question the feasibility of Mohammed bin Salman's vision. Costs spiraled out of control and timelines became unmanageable. The project budget was estimated at the end of 2021 to be about $1.6 trillion. But as work began on the ground, the estimated budget rose to approximately $4.5 trillion. This figure is nearly equal to the annual gross domestic product of Germany. When the project was first announced in 2021, it was stated that the city would be built in stages, eventually reaching 170 kilometers with 9 million residents. In the first phase, 16 kilometers were to be completed, with a population of 1.5 million by 2030. Residents were expected to start moving in by early 2025. However, due to the astronomical rise in the budget, the first phase was scaled down to just 2.4 kilometers. The expected population by 2030 was also reduced to approximately 300,000 people. This first phase will include a massive futuristic port rising 500 meters above sea level. Excavation for this port has already begun with 100 million cubic meters of soil removed, equivalent to 40 Giza pyramids. Large commercial ships are expected to pass through this port, which will also house residential units, commercial spaces, and schools for about 200,000 people. The city will also feature a football stadium at an elevation of 350 meters above sea level. 
it will accommodate 45,000 spectators and rely entirely on renewable wind and solar energy. This stadium will be an architectural masterpiece, ready to host the 2034 FIFA World Cup in Saudi Arabia. After the tournament, it will serve as the home ground for the city's local team. The line is part of a larger mega project in northwestern Saudi Arabia called Neom, which covers an area roughly the size of Belgium. Another city within Neom is Oxagon, which is set to be the world's largest floating structure. Oxagon aims to redefine traditional industrial cities, occupying a strategic location on the Red Sea coast to accelerate exports to global markets. Its unique design features a large portion built over the water. It will rely entirely on solar energy and green hydrogen, combining modern manufacturing with future technologies like robotics, AI, and machine learning. Neom also includes other destinations like Trojina, a global mountain tourism hub. With peaks reaching 2,600 meters, it will feature ski slopes, snow runs, and an artificial lake. The project will rely heavily on artificial snow pumped from the Gulf of Aqaba. It is officially scheduled to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games. However, due to construction delays, there are concerns the event might be moved to China. Additionally, Neom features a luxury island called Sindala, a high-end destination on the Red Sea. The island includes a luxury yacht marina and a golf course overlooking the sea. Sindala focuses on ultra-luxury tourism, housing international hotels, world-class boutiques, and fine dining restaurants led by renowned chefs. The first phase opened in October 2024, with many global stars invited to the celebration. Curiously, the Crown Prince did not attend the opening ceremony, while it was expected to be the first part of Neom to welcome visitors from around the world, it has not yet opened to the general public. The line remains the project that captures the world's attention. Since its announcement in 2021 and through the beginning of 2026, it has continued to dominate international headlines. But the question remains, will the city actually be built or has the project been effectively canceled? After the announcement, work began rapidly in 2022. Drone footage showed an army of workers and machinery engaged in massive excavation. Satellite imagery confirmed that digging was occurring along the entire 170 kilometer stretch. These rapid developments suggested to the world that Saudi Arabia would succeed in its challenge. But by 2024, news broke that the project had been scaled back. The first phase is now limited to 2.4 kilometers, only 1.5% of the original length. The reason is simple. Saudi Arabia does not currently have the necessary funds to finance the entire project. When the project was launched in 2021, a massive marketing campaign aimed to attract foreign investors. The plan was to build in stages so that profits from the early phases could fund the later ones. Initially, the Saudi Public Investment Fund, PIF, was expected to cover 50% of the cost, with the remainder coming from the private sector and foreign investment. However, investment flows were much lower than expected, forcing the PIF to bear the majority of the financial burden. The Public Investment Fund is the sovereign wealth fund of Saudi Arabia and is ranked among the largest in the world, with total assets estimated at $925 billion. The fund is chaired by Mohammed bin Salman, who oversees its investments and financing plans. Following a drop in oil prices, the Saudi government has begun to improve its resource management and rearrange its massive financial commitments. Moving forward, the focus will be more on investments that yield faster returns shifting away from mega real estate projects like the line. As a result, every aspect of the line is being reconsidered from scratch. For now, the fate of the city remains unknown. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. Tell us in the comments what you think of the project and your predictions for the future of the city. Will it be successfully implemented on the ground, becoming one of the greatest engineering achievements of all time? Or will the project turn into the biggest engineering mistake in history? Finally, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all our latest content. Goodbye.